It's built to withstand an eight magnitude earthquake, tested at between 50 and 90 degrees, and designed to run for decades without failure. It's what IBM calls the ultimate private cloud. The Z13 mainframe computing system has 300% more memory than its previous version, the ZEC12, along with a 40% increase in total processing capacity and a 100% jump in bandwidth. The Z13 has been in the works for over five years, and with a $1 billion investment from IBM and 5,000 developers working on the project, the mainframe computing system aims to tackle the explosive growth in the mobile space and can handle 2.5 billion transactions per day. Its target customer? Major banks and insurance companies that need more capacity to record transactions. We've designed it so that you can integrate analytics and transactions together within a single system. In the past, you would have to move data off the mainframe and do your analytics and off on the side. A big cost savings for companies, not just for efficiency, but also for fraud detection. We've worked with a large insurer that uh, we've modeled the data. Uh, we think it could be in the 250 million a year savings in some large insurance companies for fraud detection. The rise of cloud computing has changed the way mainframes are used. We're now connecting our private clouds, which have been in existence for many years in our clients, to public clouds, and we're doing it securely so that a customer can encrypt their transaction end-to-end -end through the private cloud and the public cloud. Morningstar analyst Pete Wallstrom says IBM is now pivoting to focus on more strategic areas like analytics, cloud, and engagement, telling the street, IBM hasn't abandoned its hardware roots and this is still an important, albeit shrinking, piece of the IBM puzzle. The company would ultimately like to shift to become a more software-oriented firm, but in the meantime, it has developed a high-end mainframe server business that should be optimized for the strategic workloads of analytics and cloud. In 2014, IBM saw sales of $9.9 .9 billion in its hardware space, or just under 11% of total revenue. For The Street, I'm Scott Gam in Poughkeepsie, New York.